And Bill Baruch of II Trader joins me on the line as gold continues its descent. Bill, thanks so much for joining us this Wednesday. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me on again. So gold extending losses again. It's a, it's a question of the U.S. dollar and also the U.S. midterm elections that favored the Republican Party. And I guess that investors are seeing as pro-growth policy here, right, Bill? Yeah, that, that's exactly it. We, you know, we're seeing the dollar extend its four-year highs further. Uh, the dollar index is is really pressing higher, and this is what's moving the market. As, as the dollar gains strength, uh, gold and commodities priced in dollars are going to be weaker. Uh, the dollar index is, is against a, a major high at about 88, 80 to 89. You know, we're about a point below there. That's the major resistance that that we're looking at right now in the dollar trade. Bill, what about the data that came out this morning or just right now, actually, uh, ADP and ISM? Any impact here on gold prices? You know, gold actually, it's been consolidating since the ADP number. And ADP came up better than expected. Now, what was somewhat surprising is, is you know, upon that, the dollar did pull back a little bit. And this is starting to tell me that, that perfection is beginning to be priced in. And in beating uh, the expectations for ADP, uh, the, the market... You would have expected gold to put a little new a new low in at a minimum, and, and it didn't. Uh, I think I think perf- again perfection is being priced in. Still, non-farm payroll is the, the main event on on, on Friday. Uh, ISM not manufacturing it, it did miss uh, expectations as well. Uh, but uh, the, the, with the non-farm payroll, um, you know, unless we get something you know really outstanding, closer to three hundred thousand, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of this is priced in in the currency market as well as as the gold market. Our Target to the downside has been 1154. Uh, that's what we've been talking to our clients about. Uh, so, so really, we've been bears, as you know from from me coming on here before. You know, we've started to really flatten out of this market, and, uh, and with that 1154 being achieved. And, and Bill, I know you said the next support level comes in at 1112, 1115 in your morning commentary. Though the next major downside target you're saying could be the psychological 1100 level. Correct. You know, the 1100 is going to pose the psychological support. Still, though, the next major downside target really is going to be about a 1035, 1045 pocket. Uh, there's a level down there that, that we're eyeing. And if we continue to close below 1154, you know, that gives us this market about really $100 more to go. Uh, but what, what's going to cause that, though? It's going to cause further stabilization in the U.S. dollar. And, and really, a lot of people have been focused on this dollar being overbought in the short term. It's not a short term trade. This is a 10 year downtrend that the market has started in the bottom. And, and so, so those who have focused on the dollar in the short term, you know, have been caught a little off guard that the market continues to be overbought. You got to look out, back that chart out. You got to look at a 10 year trend and the fact that this market over the last three to five years has been bottoming from those 2001, 2002 highs that this market has came down from. And, and if we get out above that 8880 to 89 level that I mentioned here earlier on, uh, then this is going to break out even further. And, and really overbought statistics aren't going to matter. Uh, Momentum is going to matter. And the markets, the, the dollar is really going to have full steam ahead. And that's what's going to push uh, gold another $100 lower. Bill, thanks so much for your thoughts today. Also, we have the big ECB meeting on Thursday. I guess you'll be focusing on that next. Oh, yes. Yeah, the ECB meeting, you can't overlook that. That's tomorrow morning. And really, this, this, uh, the Bank of Japan, the moves that the Bank of Japan had surprisingly last week are, are really going to force the ECB to, to do something here. And, and the market's already, already pricing that in. As I mentioned, the currencies are pricing in perfection in the dollar. The, the euro has begun to price in the fact that the ECB is going to take another step and solidify their easing measures. Uh, they're very good at uh, over-promising and under-delivering. So if, if they don't step up and actually do something, then we'll then we could see a reversal in the euro. A, a large short position continues to be built uh, in, in historically short position uh, in, in that market, and a lot of those shorts are going to be forced to cover, and the market's going to move higher. You know that's going to bring some support to gold. So I, again, I do think that the that the market's starting to price in that the ECB is going to act tomorrow, and if they don't, you can start seeing the euro kind of reverse as well as as gold getting some support uh, and retesting 1180. Uh, that's going to be what we're focused on uh, really for the rest of the week of that in the, in the jobs report Friday. Bill Baruch from Chicago and II Trader, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks again for having me.